Welcome back to Not Cause of Market Market as your host. We're going to go straight up to our What's Up in the NBA topic. James, what do we have? Uh, who do you think is a better duo tandem? Uh, Durant and Westbrook or Westbrook and, or Paul George? What do you guys think? I'm, I'm going to say Westbrook and George. I mean, I think, uh, you know, Westbrook and Durant, when they were playing together, they were still competing as to who's number one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's very clear that Durant is mm-hmm. the number one right yeah. now, right? Yeah. So I think it's almost like you had a really good girlfriend, yeah. and then that girlfriend <laughs> went away, and you're yeah. like, oh, what, what's wrong? Well, yeah. you're always trying to compete with me, yeah. and you kind of take that girlfriend for granted, and she yeah. goes, and she wins championships yeah. with someone else. Yeah. And then another you know, girlfriend that you like comes in, and you're like, okay, yeah. I'm, I'm going to work together with this one because I don't want to lose her. Mm-hmm. So I think mm-hmm. that's honestly what's happened with Westbrook. Yeah. Like, he doesn't want to yeah. lose a Paul George, and he realizes he's best as a number two. Yeah, and he's a great number two player. Yeah, but he can't be your number one. I agree. Um, it's. I actually thought it was more so the situation that they're in, and and it was the maturity level. I I I think that if the uh, if Westbrook had a sort of, a sort of self awareness that he had yeah. in terms of what he has now compared to what he had when he was with Durant, I think they would have been a much better tandem just because of how talented and, and, and the caliber of a player that right. Durant is compared to Paul George. Yeah. Agree. So I think they would have been a much better tandem if only Westbrook had a self-awareness that he has now to learn that, hey, like, I'm a good player, but I understand where my strengths are and yeah. I understand what I do best, which is to distribute the basketball and to bring that type of drive and that type of hustle and to let someone like Paul George, who was a much more finesse scorer, a much better off the dribble, much better shooter, to take over and be that number one main guy for the team. So, if Durant, you know, if Durant would have just, if we would have just given Durant that opportunity to just be the number one, and no ego aside, but that's Westbrook. That's the thing. That's the hard to, hard to spill to swallow. If we would have had that maturity and self awareness to begin with, I think they would have won the championship. I kind of agree on that one, for. Um Westbrook, Westbrook got better as a uh, teammate, yeah. but I think Durant and Westbrook is better because they were this close to make it to the finals. Yeah. They choked the three and one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Westbrook is better now, but before they were, they were without Harden, they almost made the playoffs. Very true. Uh, there was three and one against the 73 and nine Warriors, yeah. and then they beat Spurs that year that is 67 wins. Yeah. So I don't know if, yeah, I would say right now Westbrook is better, but with Durant, with this attitude, Westbrook, I think they can go oh, far. Yeah. If you took so today, what yeah, yeah. If you took today's Westbrook, yeah. Yeah. today's Durant, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd pick them to, to yeah. beat anyone really. I mean, yeah. as long as you surround the ro- you know, surround them with a with a yeah. with a nice roster. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I would have loved to yeah. see yeah. that. But, they so, just choked that time. It was yes. this close, oh, man. man. So if you if you if you switch, uh, say uh, right now, Westbrook and Paul George right now with the current roster they have. Yeah. Where are they? Oh, it's, it's, it's where are they going to go in the in the in the playoffs? Oh, in the playoffs. Yeah, if it was Durant yeah. with Westbrook with West, right now. Yeah, compare me to Paul Durant George in Golden yeah. State. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, very interesting. Yeah, yeah that would spicy. be interesting. Yeah. Um, where do you see them? Man, that's uh, that's tough. But well, with Paul George, I can't say Westbrook and Paul George is better because of last year. Well, because yeah. they had Carmelo too, right? Because yeah. of last year, they kind of had a mistakes when it comes to against Jazz. Yeah. But yeah, Paul George was. MVP caliber this year, so yeah. it could be yeah, it'd be different. What do you I, guys think? <laughs> I, I still think Golden State wins. Uh, I mean, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson. Yeah. So all those shots that Durant is getting, yeah. Yeah. now some of those shots are going to go to Clay yeah. and Steph yeah. and Draymond. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it doesn't even matter how you shuffle it. Yeah. Golden State's still going to win. So yeah. even if you switch Durant and Paul George to the current situation, you think? Golden State will still have the upper edge. Uh, even yeah, though but Paul's it's there. very tight. Yeah. I think it's very tight if yeah. you put Durant, uh, Durant back and George too. Yeah. That's an interesting question. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I still, think, I still think Golden State's the best there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What about, what about the MVP race this season? Is this, um, did Harden just kind of just took it over? Or is it still a very close, at this point, is Giannis still in the mix? Is Paul George still in the mix? Is Durant still in the mix? It's Kawhi still in the mix. Like, what's what's our conversation with the MVP? Yeah, for me, and I don't. I just realized I'm wearing red and black. Yeah, um, <laughs> which is Houston. <laughs> yeah, you know, which is, and I am anti Houston. Yeah. I'm anti Harden. Yeah. yeah. Um, I get it. He's he's putting 57 yeah. points. I think last night. Yeah. Um, he's putting up ridiculous yeah. numbers. Yeah. But for me, 
Like basketball is entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. I want to be entertained. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I'm not entertained when I watch him. He's going to mm-hmm. dribble out 12, 14 seconds, and yeah. then oh, you know, it, oh yeah, you know, like I, I just, <laughs> Peter is fouled. Or, you know, yeah, just step back, sliding, no. traveling. Like I'm just, mm-hmm. it's not for me. Like I just, um, I just, I'm, I'm not a big fan uh, of yeah. this style of game. And Giannis, you know, he gets it done efficiently. He's the most dominant player mm-hmm. since Shaq. Yeah. I truly yeah, believe physically, that. Like yeah. when we when we play him, and thank God he's only 24. Yeah. Because I can't only I <laughs> yeah, can't imagine crazy. when he's 27, 28, 29. Oh, oh man, he adds a uh, he adds that jump shot. Yeah. He's he's going to be deadly. Yeah. So that's uh, even though I, I don't want Harden to win, I believe he will win yeah, because yeah. it's easier for them to vote for him yeah. because they'll say Giannis is young. Uh-huh. He'll he'll get his later. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he's 24, 25 years old. Yeah. Harden, you know, four or five years older than he is. Yeah. So I think Harden wins. Yeah. Um, even though I feel that Giannis, yeah, the Greek still. freak, should be the yeah. uh, the winner of the MVP. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of agree with that one, uh, but. He's averaging 36 points per game. I know. That's just crazy. And 7.7. And the last time who averaged like 35-ish was Kobe Bryant. Yeah. And he didn't win the MVP because they were like 7th and 8th against Phoenix. Like right, they right, play, right. Yeah. So this time, he, they're 2nd or 3rd, right? Mm-hmm. Right, I'm guessing. In the West, behind, yeah. Yeah, yeah, behind just Denver. And yeah. Denver and then, State. yeah, he's in a tear. But when it, Giannis... He, they're just lucky he doesn't have a shot yet. Yeah. If this guy get Every a three point shot, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it will be game over. Because yeah. you can work on that. Like yeah. you can work on shots, but so when it comes uh, w- with Giannis, I have to say uh, he like he's really not playing. I know Middleton is an an all star, yeah. but I don't think he's an actual all star. Yeah. I think they looked at the roster yeah. or they looked at the standings and they said, well, the Bucks are number one, so yeah, yeah. it can't just be Giannis. We got to yeah. give another all star here, and it's got to be Middleton. Yeah. Um, like look at like his supporting cast. Look at yeah. what he's working with, right? Yeah. And I think he leads the team in like almost every category. Yeah, yeah. And it's almost LeBron like yeah. numbers. Yeah, yeah no. So yeah. I, you know, what? if I. If if James Harden wasn't doing this crazy fifty seven yeah. points, fifty points, yeah. you know, I don't know how many points, thirty six, like yeah. you said, thirty six yeah. points per game, yeah. uh, he's he's not winning this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I think he he's he's gonna win yeah. Yeah. because I think it's the easier vote yeah. to go James Harden. I think you will Giannis. see yeah. more of Giannis because two players just got hurt. Yeah. yeah. So like Miritich and um, Brockton. Yeah. So you're gonna see. Maybe it's more a of an like MVP caliber. It's, I think it's yeah. just still a tight race. Yeah. Like, as much as Harden is scoring yeah. crazy numbers, yeah. Giannis is just putting up an all-around performance. Yeah. yeah. And when, when, a, when you look at the numbers, yeah. uh, James Harden isn't shooting the ball great. Yeah. I mean, he's 42, that, 43%. That's yeah. not great. I think Giannis is something ridiculous, like 58, 50, 59. 50, yeah. Yeah. Like, that's super dominant. For someone that doesn't shoot. <laughs> yeah, and he doesn't shoot yeah. that much. And yeah. then he's going to rebound. He's also going to pass the ball. Yeah. Um, James Harden... Like, no wonder he has so many assists because yeah. he winds down the clock until there's yeah. five seconds. Yeah. If they choose to double, he kicks it out, yeah. and then yeah. he gets the assist on the score. I actually so, thought it was Paul George, but he's kind of slowing down now. So, right. Yeah, I thought it would be, like, Paul George. Yeah, what happened going. to Paul George? Yeah. Uh, he, he, <laughs> I think he down. cooled down. Yeah. He cooled down. He was hot he was uh, a tear, for a tip yeah. for a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I th- Honestly, I thought Kawhi, but then now uh, load, <laughs> load, load management. management. Yeah. Load management. Whatever. He hated that. Load management. 